Hey, what's up? It's another Yubiko video. How's everybody doing? We're back with some more Marvel Snap. You know how it is. I'm going to give you guys a quick deck overview. And then the rest of the video is just going to be me playing some games, some highlights from the stream, and letting you guys sort of see how to pilot this deck. I feel like you can talk it to death, but seeing it in action and knowing what combos you can do and get away with is a lot more telling, I think. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly do a brief overview. Basically, guys, this is a C3 deck. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, we use Cerebro right here. Oh. God damn it. We use Cerebro right here to boost all of your cards, the highest power that get plus two. And all of your cards are always going to have three power. Um, you might see Onslaught here, um, but what we do with Onslaught is we use Bast, um, which sets all the power of all of your cards in your hand to three. And we set Onslaught to three. And sometimes we also set Cerebro to three, so he gets he's able to boost himself. I'm calling it a he, it's a helmet. I'm sorry for assigning an agenda to the helmet. Don't cancel me. <laughs> so yeah, basically all this is, is all the cards have three power and you're going to boost them all. And you can get some pretty interesting plays. And the reason I think this deck is so interesting is not because of the fact that you can get power from the threes, but it's because of the amount of tech and control cards you can put into this deck. Um, originally, I didn't have Shang-Chi. I had Colossus, but Shang-Chi is almost a must to deal with those big, big cards. Um, Rhino is great for getting rid of those locations you don't like. And one of my favorite plays to do is to magic to create a turn seven. And then if you think you can win on turn six and they think there's going to be a turn seven, you can Rhino where magic is and end the game early without them seeing, which you're going to see. I do, I think in the second or third game on this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, there's not too much to go into depth here. I mean, there's a lot of control cards, Professor X to lock down those locations. Valkyrie is super useful as well. She sets all cards at this location to three power. So if they've boosted your cards or they have cards that are too strong or maybe they've shuried and you don't wanna, you don't have a Shang-Chi because there's armor there, you can use Valkyrie and set all the cards to three. And if you have Cerebro down on the board and every, their cards are all three, your cards are all three, yours are gonna be higher power. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you so much for all the support recently on all the Marvel Snap stuff. Please subscribe. I know Miss Massive channels always say that, but I'm quite a small channel and every little subscription and view is really helping and the growth I'm seeing with this is crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me guys know what, let me guys know. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next, what kind of decks you want me to try out. And yeah, let me know how this goes for you. I'm alone, when I'm lost, I'm a Big brain C3. Wow, wow, it's a very nice. nice. So yeah, this C3 deck is um is it's pretty fun. It's not like broken or it's not gonna get you crazy amounts of wins, but I mean if you have Valkyrie, which works really well with it, I think it's I think you can catch people off guard and win some some cheeky games hundred percent. It's just a shame that we can't fit Daredevil into this deck just to give it um, Professor X. I guess you could and then try and bast it before turn 5, but yeah. Yeah. This ain't nothing like completely game changing, but I mean, it's pretty fun. Oh, add a copy to another location. That's actually pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. We can actually use Cerebro over here. Get out of here, man. You ain't copying nothing. I'm copying. Oh, no. Okay, I'm glad we stopped that from happening twice. Should I be really, really, really risky and do, like, Professor X on this? <laughs> because we could Cerebro. And then everything's going to go up anyway. I'm gonna do it. We're going for the risky Professor X. And hopefully we draw Cerebro. Hey! Oh, nice. I mean, he definitely has Dark Hawk. And I think he's gonna save it for the last turn. So, oh no, because if I play here, then it's gonna go mid. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I can't play anything if I do. <laughs> oh no! Not like this. Well, he's gonna try copy set. Wait, should I ruin him? Him copying stuff? Or should I copy? Oh. 
Oh, it does not stack. Oh, it does. I was about to say, I'm about to cry. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's gonna mess up my cerebro, isn't it? Oh no! Oh, that sucks, man. That could have been awesome. I almost made the mistake. Imagine if I onslaughted and I had that like to where I wanted it to be, and that'd be perfect. And Valkyrie does nothing because it would just turn into a three. The best thing I could do is Rhino, because it's gonna mess him up, and also kill Mongo. Because then I get rid of Korg and Quinn. Let's go. Dumbass. I win. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Because he was going to mystique that and copy that elsewhere. So he wins right. But he doesn't. He is not able to win mid or left. Oh. Well, maybe he. Oh, he doesn't win anywhere. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, man. That was the smart play there, was to Rhino there, before he was able to copy you. Nice. See, 3 po strikes again. My thirst is unquenchable. Oh, it's Fang. My boy. Oh wait, Fang, you're still here. You cheeky bastard. Closing tab. <laughs> you see, you little bastard. We're just going to try to fill up his hand as much as we can. There ain't no way he's got the same thing as we do, right? I mean, thanks for this. This is actually pretty good for me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh pal. Should we, should, we, should we do it? Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Potentially. Um, I think the best thing to do is this and this. That's cool. We don't need to worry about that. I mean, what we can do is just stick this anywhere. Because I'm not here, though. Because we can just onslaught anyway. Even if we, we struggle to keep it locked down. Oh, buddy, oh, buddy, oh, pal. <laughs> oh, buddy, oh, pal. God damn, sir. Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> this is Loki kind of evil, I'm not gonna lie. I might even win right, depending on what he plays. Because what, Rhino will go to a 7, so if he doesn't play anything on right, then I win. <clears throat> oh, Fang, come on, man! GG's, bro, GG's. On turn two, we'll play Bast. Hopefully, we pull Onslaught. But yeah. Oh, Misty Knight. Okay. Add a copy to your hand. Mm, okay. We're gonna play Cerebro in mid, and then that will give us another Cerebro later on. Hopefully, and it will be a three-three Cerebro as well, which would be perfect.
Oh my god, this is actually gonna be crazy for us. Try Cerebro over here. If I Cerebro over here, it's gonna buff itself. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play Cerebro over here, bro. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't play Patriot. Oh, he is gonna play Patriot over there. But I'm just, I'm scared about this getting shuffled back into my hand. Holy crap! Oh man, I wish we could onslaught as well. That'd be crazy. That will cause the solution to 3 power. We don't want to do that because Patriot's obviously going to buff them. If he plays Patriot over here though, then he's not going to have as much power over here. I wonder what he's going to go for over here. I think I'm going to go for Professor X. I might go for Professor X over here, man. It adds a copy to my hand as well. Yeah, he can't play that much power in one turn, I don't think. Yeah, he didn't play anything over there. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow, he's filled up here as well. Wow, sad times for you. Yes, sir! We already won the game, there was nothing you could do. He filled up over here, and, he, and we cut him off on middle. Let's go! Sometimes I see three people. Mr. Taliman, you me a banana. They like a man, me wanna go home. <clears throat> if two power, oh, bro, that, that screws us up. We need Bast. <laughs> Where's Bast when you need her? Come on, Bast. Save me, big cubes! Bust, save me. Hey! Ask and thou shalt receive. Oh, this guy's got a dono. Do He's got a dono. He's got a dino deck. He's got a dono deck. Hopefully, he didn't take Cerebro out of all the cards in the game. Actually, we'll see if he plays any more one costs. He's got a Duno deck! Okay. He took my Juggernaut. That's our card. That's fine. Now, I want a Professor X. Was that stop Grand Central from happening? It should do, right? Yep, cool. We went right. And we Shang-Chi left. Cool. GG's. I'm guessing you play Sank in mid. Wow, he's snapping too. It's a shame we didn't get Cerebro. But hey ho. Oh, we didn't pull magic early enough either. Yeah, cool. Come on, my boy. Thanks for the eight cubes. <laughs> yeah, Shang-Chi was the, like almost a must-have to have in this deck, man. Because Valkyrie helps a lot with um, big cards, but obviously with ongoing cards like Devil Dinosaur or Dark Hawk, which are like very prominent in the meta right now, she doesn't do much because it's ongoing, so like they get the power from other sources. And if anything, you boost Dark Hawk um, and give it a bigger base power. So yeah, you need that. I think shang is a must-have in the C3. Come on, let's draw Onslaught so I can bast it. Oh, Cerebro. Ah, 
<sighs> Maybe on Rickety Bridge we can play Professor X, actually. Ooh, but we won't be able to now that he has Daredevil. He's going to be able to see what we do on turn 5. We can just play Magic on Rickety Bridge, maybe. Or maybe he's looking to lock down an area of Professor X. <laughs> maybe we can put so much power down one place that he won't even be able to contest it anyway. Oh, wait. I don't think he's going to have Professor X with this. That's fine, he can have that. And, yep, we'll just play that. Straight away for... I mean, we have nothing else to play. We could have played Bass maybe to give um, Onslaught the three, but... Yeah. We ain't got Cerebro, so... Unless we get Cerebro down. Right now. Oh, Onslaught. Oh, come off it, man. I hate that so much. That's some bullshit, bro. Oh, we can Professor X over here. On turn six, I say we would just Professor X here. We need our Cerebro right now. Come on, buddy. Opponent snapped. This is a risky play playing this over here. Oh. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Okay, we win left. And then he wins mid. Because he's gonna play Titania over. Yeah, cool, we have to retreat. Oh wait. He changed <laughs> what? I just realized he changed the, the turn seven thing. If he didn't change the turn seven thing with the reality stone, then he could have won. There you go. Luckily we play Bast. Okay, a bit of Misty Knight. We need to destroy that. Oh no! I, was, I need to play Bast just then. In fact, we can play it on turn 4 maybe. I mean, it's obviously going to be Patriot or Ultron or some shit over there. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. You ain't going to be a rocket scientist for that shit. I mean, if he keeps playing cards over here, do you know what? I'm just going to do this. Boom. We win mid. But keep playing cards in the Dark Dimension, my friend. Keep doing it. You can't play nothing over here that's big enough. Yeah, play Blue Marvel, which ain't gonna get a buff from nothing. Appreciate it, my boy. I don't know why you'd snap, to be honest with you. 
All we have to do is this and this. I'm pretty sure we win because a six. And if he gets, uh, if he gets Patriot, which he probably has a six. Yeah, but that's it. That's all he can play. Actually, he might have Ultron though as well. Hmm. Come on, is there? What about Jug now here? Yeah. That would be 9 power. I doubt he has 9 power here. Let's see what he does for. Yeah, Patriot. Mystique, copy and Patriot, yeah. That's fine. Wasp, okay. Not a lot of power. And Ultron, nice. So Wasp and Ultron. Oh no! He won't get knocked over, will he? Fuck, man, I'm so stupid! I should have played Shang-Chi, bro. Oh wait! He will get knocked over because of Killmonger. Yes! I'm so smart! <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally predicted. Totally meant to do it. I ain't stupid, what you talking about? Let's go! Victory. The C3 offers so much control, man. I completely forgot I played Killmonger first. <laughs> Let's go, man. So you guys can see a lot like how to pilot this deck. It's not like super complex, but obviously there's a lot of different things you can do and there's some big brain plays that you can do in like the last turn. Like that. Like we didn't even get Cerebro, but just having Juggernaut, having Killmonger, having Shang-Chi, having Professor X, having Rhino, Armor, just gives you so much control. You can do so many different things. It's the same guy. This is a good location for us. He's probably going to try to destroy us as fast as possible. Oh, wow. That's not that bad for us. We can Valkyrie that. Not a big deal. How many Vipers are two cost? Crazy. That's one, yeah? Oh, we can even just destroy it with Killmonger. Bye, Titania. Bye, Hood. Cool. We get to draw two cards. Appreciate it, my boy. Oh, that was smart playing debris. But then it doesn't really matter too much either, though. I was going to Professor X, but we don't have Cerebro yet, so it's a bit unsafe. Oh, shit. Oh, I pulled Professor X, man. That sucks so bad. We need Cerebro badly on this last turn. I mean, on turn 6 or 7. Actually, no, we don't. Valkyrie just, just saved the world, just saved the game. Hilarious. That's actually kind of funny. I could end the game here as well. I don't think you expect me to just randomly just end the game as well. Let's try our best and hope that he doesn't play anything over here. Oh, he played something, so we win mid. GG. There you go. The power of C3 and the controller offers. I mean, he kind of screwed himself with that Dr. Octopus pulling Valkyrie. But again, we didn't pull Cerebro and we win. Yep, the play of Magic into Rhino is a smart one. Spending too much time wishing the star. Realize that you're just sitting in the dark. Home for a spark, quitting for no other shot with an arc. I ain't going to buy two. I'm a cruise right by you. If it's all that I do, high IQ, let me prove what you got.